Hello everyone. In today's session, we will look into the experiment number one in the hardware part that is part A. And the experiment is about amplitude modulation and demodulation. As you can see the aim, it is to generate amplitude modulated wave and determine the percentage modulation. And the second part of it will be to demodulate the modulated signal using envelope detector. So these are the components required for this particular experiment. So before going through the circuit and other details, we need to understand what is amplitude modulation. Amplitude modulation is a process in which amplitude of the carrier wave is varied linearly with the instantaneous amplitude of the message signal. So based on message signals amplitude levels instantaneous values of the carrier signal varies that is what our amplitude modulation which is defined by this equation as you can see based on this m of t the cosine signal cosine carrier signal is varying okay so this equation represents our am modulation and first now we will go through the circuit of modulator and demodulator and then we will discuss these things okay this is the am modulator circuit diagram okay so let me explain the different parts of this circuit so starting from here this is the carrier signal high frequency carrier this will be our low frequency message signal then this resistor is a current limiting resistor you can say the series resistor is a current limiting resistor and r1 and r2 are voltage divider these are biasing this transistor npn transistor then uh, this particular tank circuit this tank circuit resonates for the carrier frequency so that this carrier frequency amplitude changes in accordance with the applied message signal then we have the coupling capacitor so it removes the dc offset which has been introduced because of the power we have applied after that we have a load resistor where across which we will get the am signal output so this is the receiver part or am detector here the incoming am signal is applied to half wave rectifier the rectifier diode we use is oa79 which is a germanium based diode whose forward bias voltage is 0.3 volt as compared to 0.7 of 0.7 volt of any silicon diode and then we have a low pass filter this low pass filter is designed for the frequency of message signal that is 500 hertz so we use fm is equal to 1 by 2 pi rc and keeping fm constant 500 hertz arbitrarily choosing c as 0.1 microfarad we get the r value and we complete the design of this rc filter so it will allow 500 hertz frequency and suppresses all other higher frequencies so that is the working of these two circuits so now coming to another concept which is related to this am modulation which is modulation index it can be calculated by the equation e max minus e min by e max plus e min so to understand this modulation index we need to go through the waveforms so this is the procedure which you can eventually go through already you know how to recap the circuit and all which you have studied in the lower semesters okay so 
let us look into the waveforms this is our message signal this is the carrier signal so in accordance with the message signals instantaneous values carrier is changing so amplitude modulated so here the e max and e min are this this is e max this is e max this is e min okay this is maximum this is minimum so e max and e min using this we can calculate the modulation index or depth of modulation you can say okay now after demodulating we need to get back our amplitude signal that is the message signal which we had transmitted this was our message right this we need to get so with this modulation technique we are going to measure the modulation index for different setups that is AM and AC value we change accordingly we will get E max and E min and then we will measure the modulation index and we will tabulate it where FM and FC values will be constant that is we keep the frequency of the carrier as well as the message constant and in the detection part we will tabulate two values one is the message signal amplitude and message signal frequency there should be uh, some difference in the amplitude of the detected signal as compared to the transmitted message amplitude but frequency should be almost equal to the transmitted signal that is this is transmitted signal amplitude must be uh, might be different but frequency should be same as that of the transmitted signal okay that study we are going to do in this particular experiment now going to the uh, practical part of it we might have done this experiment in the lab itself but uh, because of the prevailing pandemic situation we are unable to do that so what we'll do is we'll mimic this in the lt spice simulation and try to get uh, the amplitude modulated wave and demodulate the signal so let us now go through the lt spice simulation which is exactly what we are going to do in the labs if the classes commence so this is our am modulator circuit integrated with the detection circuit this part of the circuit is modulator and the next part that is diode followed by the rc filter is our receiver so in this uh, particular model i did not get the germanium oa79 diode so instead of that i have used a short key diode which is also a fast switching diode okay this uh, fast switching is required because the output voltage level what we get over here will be very small so the high frequency switching should take place and uh, the diode rise time and fall time will be more in a slow switching diodes which we need to overcome that's why we can use fast switching diodes now uh, let me run this setup and check for the waveforms so here we want to have at least five different waveforms so i will add the planes that is different plots okay for first one i will choose the message for second one i will choose the carrier for third one 
I will choose the modulated signal for the fourth one I will choose after the coupling capacitor then finally after the detection okay these are the five traces we have as you can observe this is the message signal this is high frequency carrier 15 kilohertz 15 volt peak to peak whereas this one is message signal is sorry this is 30 volt peak to peak plus 15 and minus 15 whereas this one is 7.5 volt 7.5 that is uh, 15 volt peak to peak 50 percent modulation you can say then the modulated signal you might observe that it is invert inverted version of the message signal though carrier is varying in accordance with the message whenever negative peak you have a positive peak over here whenever the positive peak you have negative it is because the transistor itself is a inverter basically this transistor is a inverter when your base current increases then transistor is on when on there will be less output when it is off there will be more output so in that way if you look this circuit behaves as an inverter only inverter with a tank circuit that's why you will get positive peaks for negative highest value and for positive highest value negative or the e minimum of the modulated signal okay this is e maximum this is e minimum now we have used capacitor that is coupling capacitor because of the purpose that you can see here the signal is settled around 12 volt to 11.4 uh, volt you can say to be precise 12.4 to 11.4 volt in between that our signal is there so up to 11.4 volt what is that that is the dc level added by the power supply or biasing voltage what we have used so to minimize that effect or to remove the dc component we have used the coupling capacitor after the coupling capacitor we are getting this signal which is grounded you can see it is between minus 250 millivolt to plus 250 millivolt so that is what the advantage of coupling capacitor so this is the recovered signal after the rectification and filtering here you can observe that this signal is having same frequency as that of this one that is you can uh, make a points over here that is peak to peak and you can measure it will be same as this one because the low pass filter what we have used it is set to pass 500 hertz frequency only so it will be there but it is delayed by some amount because of the initial distortion what we have got here in the modulator okay but the amplitude level is very small the amplitude what we have got here is very small this can be improved by passing the signal through a inverting circuit with higher gain why inverting because you can see this is positive peak then you are getting a somewhat negative peak so if you apply it to an inverter you will get back the signal okay so that's all about the AM modulator and detector. Thanks for watching.